Hi guys, Aku Chicago Natural back again with another video. So this is going to be an event recap of a natural hair event that I attended here in Brooklyn, New York City. It was the pre-Valentine's Day dinner by Obia of Obia Natural Hair. And this was in partnership with Bella Kinks. We had loads and loads of fun. We had dinner, we had drinks, mimosas, sangrias, margaritas, and it was at this awesome Brooklyn restaurant called Picant. It was my first time meeting Obia in person and I had a blast getting to know her. She's so down to earth, very, very pleasant lady and she has a wealth of knowledge. So we had a very, very knowledgeable event as well. It was not all about drinks and food and natural hair products, but it was more also about understanding the pH balance of natural hair and also the pH balance of natural hair products. So a lot of knowledge was actually shared during this event. So yeah, we had loads of fun and I just wanted to share with you some of the clips as well as some of the pictures that I took at the event and I hope you enjoy this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you in my next one. Bye guys. I saw that this was something that she really stuck with and was really passionate about. And you know, it's just, it's God, you know, how things moved around in both of our lives to allow me to just drop everything and to be able to jump on the with her. And the things that have happened from that day until now, it's, it's only divine intervention. So I just want to let you guys know that, you know, I'm excited for everybody. And I really want to thank you guys for coming out and giving us a chance and this is an opportunity for you guys to learn something. Please ask questions. Obi is really passionate about it. This is what she does. This is what she believes in. She's studying constantly to make sure that she's up on the newest of whatever. I mean, she's constantly bugging me with, oh, look at this article. And look at what so many subjects have said or whatever the case may be. But, you know, it's on a personal note to be able to see my sister, you know, truly step into her womanhood and be you know, all the way responsible, all the way dedicated, all the way passionate, overcoming problem after problem. You know, she's, she's like my hero, you know, he is like my best friend. She raised me.
like they said, so in 2009, I decided to go naturally. Then when I transitioned, I was still a medical student with her. And then when I went natural, my hair was like a hot mess, like a bird's nest. And now I don't want to walk around looking crazy. And it seemed as though at the time, a lot of the products out there were for people that had a silky or like a looser yeah. hair texture and not for like the bushy, like, you know, matching, tough, you know, like my hair texture. So some of the products were not, not all the products were terrible, but the products that were okay had like bad ingredients. And because of like health issues, I was like, okay, I don't want to use anything with honey or beeswax because I have skin allergies. And my people would realize that if you have allergies, it's possible to bitch and have all these issues. So I had all these criteria of things that I wanted and I didn't want, but nothing out there seemed to fit that model. So I started to make things for myself. So I actually did college and chemistry as my first degree, but for no other reason than to have a higher MCAT score for medical school. I hated science, and so I actually did the opposite of what I love, right? to challenge myself to be a better doctor. So it's funny that when I went natural, you know, I have the science knowledge to create things for myself. I didn't think that it would work for me, work for other people, and that's how all this started. And it really wasn't until I got a little bit just let go and experienced a chance to just things that work for me. So the hardest decision was actually pausing medical school to pursue this. Wow. And since I learned that was when I got all this was happening. Wow. And even though we've been in the business for like two and a half years, I can't even like we're in like forty three stores in the wow. so great wow. wow. And thank you for all of you guys coming. This is actually my first event in New York. Actually my first event by myself, period. Wow. I'm going to tag along to other events. I'm a part of other events. It's like my first event. So I thank each and every one of you for taking the time out of your night to come and join us. Thank you. 